What's up, Juggalos? DC Fango Guy. Uh, my previous uh, video I did of a, a taste of things to come, I said I was going to do a new uh, vlog series where I would title it Let Me Ask You Something. I'm scrapping that. It's the same. It's going to be the same kind of shit, but I'm changing the title of it. It's going to be What You Thinking About. It's going to be based off of the song, off of Wizard of the Hood. Basically, whatever I'm thinking about at work or whatever, I'll just come on here and I'll just start blabbering, rambling, and just see what uh, what you guys uh, have to say back to it as far as video responses or comments or whatever. But today what I'm thinking about is tour exclusives. I just seen on Fagel Lovers like last week, I think it was, where Drive-By is actually doing a tour exclusive EP for it. I think it was uh, back on the block or something like that. <coughs> And of course, like all tour exclusives, it's only available at the concerts. And I know recently, like three weeks ago, Drive By was actually in Frankfurt, Indiana, which is like a 45 minute drive from where I'm at. So, I mean, I could have went to that shit, but I didn't because honestly, I didn't know at that time I didn't have the money to go and shit like that. So I ended up skipping it. So now I'm wondering if that exclusive CD would have been available there. And if it would have, I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass because... And my little rant and ramble that I want to go on about today is is I hate I hate tour exclusive CDs and I hate them just for the simple fact that you can only get them at the fucking concert and that's fine and shit but if you're gonna do a tour exclusive you gotta do some work something out with your booking agent make it to where you go to at least one city in every state of the fucking country I mean come on I'm a collector I'm not the only collector out there lots of us are out there and we would love to scoop that shit up but the problem is is if it's only exclusive to that tour guess what we got to go fucking pay like 50 bucks on eBay or some shit and I don't I ain't, I ain't made a money I work at I work at a farm store I don't make that much fucking money you know because that's that's all I've really got left to add to my collection is the cryptic collection Halloween edition fucking want that I have a burnt copy of it I want the actual copy of it I hate having to download shit because half the time you don't get good quality songs and you don't get the fresh ass CD art or none of that shit and I love having it I love seeing the credits it's just it's like a sense of pride to be able to have a CD in an actual case on your actual shelf that you didn't make yourself that you bought it's like a sense of pride I grew up poor so anything I buy anything I own it means a lot to me it's my pride it's my possession but uh toxic territory is another one uh end of days tour is another one and even fucking back in to 2010 2011 i mean they did the gang rags uh extended cuts i've got burnt dv or burnt cds of all that shit two of them thanks to a good homie on youtube i'm not gonna drop his name out there because when he sent them to me he asked me not to make a video about it and i'm gonna respect that so, but, I have burnt CDs of these, but I want the actual CDs. It's just kind of like an accomplishment kind of thing. It's just like, come on, dude. I would love to have these tour exclusives. So, I mean, if anything, do like you was going to do with the American Psycho CD. You know, that was supposed to be a tour exclusive, too. It's still on Hatchigu to this day. What, a fucking year and a half now after the concert was over? They made it to where it was supposed to be... You could get it on Hatch Gear while the tour was going on. Why not do that with tour exclusives? Because if half half the time the Twisted fucking goes on tour, they never come to Indiana. You either get the closest ones, usually uh, Joliet or whatever it's called, Illinois or Columbus, Ohio or Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, they're not too god awful far for me to drive where I'm located in Indiana, but it's still far enough for me not to do it. Why can't you come to Indiana or uh, Indianapolis and shit like that or Fort Wayne for that matter? That's my biggest beat. That's my biggest complaint right there is Twisted's known for doing a lot of tour exclusives, but they never come to Indiana. So why can't they make that shit available on Hatchet Gear during the tour only? I would love, I would actually love to see them re-release some of their uh, tour exclusives. I remember back, it was a few years back, they said something about wanting to do like a complete Twisted box set, having all of their uh, releases out. That would be cool. <laughs> That means I'd have doubles of all the other CDs, but then I'd finally have the tour exclusives and shit. But that's just my little rant and rave. 
I was just I've been thinking about that a lot lately is the tour CDs I want the tour CDs and I see they're still doing it they're still making it difficult for uh, those of us who can't go oh another thing that got to me I mean it's not so much this didn't make me mad I mean because this is just that was just bad fate but this is just my luck back on juggalo day I bought 15 CDs what I needed spent $137 that's cool and shit and it's like they did this sale on uh, the March Madness sale they're doing right now for $3 every album I'm like fuck I could have saved myself like 80 extra dollars I mean I ain't mad at Hatch Gear for that shit there's no way I could have known and there's no way they were planning this probably till like last week or whatever that's just kind of my luck Every time I, that, that is my luck. Every time I get on Hatch Gear and I get a good, what I would consider a good sale, it's like a week or two later, an even better sale comes along or whatever. Or whenever there's an item on Hatch Gear I want, I don't have the money for it. When I finally do get the money for it, gone, nowhere to be found. That's my luck, though. But yeah, um, I'm at lunch again. It's, you can see the sun shining out. I sound a hell of a lot better than I did last week. That's surprising. I never, never kick a cold's ass this quick. They usually stick around for two to three weeks at a time, and this time it's not even, it's not even been a week, and I've already kicked this cold's ass. I still sound a little bit fucked up in the voice. My, uh, I still got a little bit of a cough, coughing up shit. <laughs> Speak of the devil, and um, I'm just out here, you know. This is my new video series. This is what I guess you could say the first video. This is what I'm thinking about or what you thinking about kind of thing. Your thoughts fly away in a mushroom for you. That's what I'm thinking about. Tour exclusives. Why is it got to be so goddamn hard to get this shit? I ain't got the money to go to Joliet, Illinois. I don't got the money to go to Ohio, Michigan. Make make it easier for the juggalos who can't go to the tour. Make it at least available on Hatchet Gear. I'm sure there's a lot of fucking ninjas overseas that just all the time get fucking mad as hell because they ain't got a chance in hell to get these CDs. And I mean, it's just kind of like make it fair a little bit there. I mean, I know it's supposed to be like a f piece of flavor for the people that do go to the show just to make the show that much more special for them. But what about the ones that can't make it? We would love to pick up some of that shit. I know I would. I don't know, I still want it. So that's my rant for today. That's what I'm thinking about. Much clown love, Joe Lowe's. Whoop, whoop.